All right, we're going to talk about who are the 24 elders. Now, I've made statements in the past about, you know, I'm not really sure, and there's a lot of debate, and blah, blah, blah. Um, debate's over. Okay? The Bible's crystal clear when you actually just read it and things like this. And, I mean, the Lord showed this to me, and it's like, well, you know what? It's right there, right in front of your face. Uh, there are two possibilities here. Okay? This is the one that is most commonly taught, and it's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Possibility number one is you have the, it has to be a, num, a multi, multiple of 12, okay? It has to be divisible, but you know, 24, it has to be something in relation to 24, okay? 24 elders. So you have the 12 disciples and the 12, uh, we'll call them patriarchs, I guess. I probably spelled that right. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's going to be the one that you're going to hear most often. The 12 disciples and 12 Jewish patriarchs. In other words, the heads, the, the men that were the heads of the different, the 12 tribes. All right? Let's look here at the scriptures. I'm going to show you why this one doesn't work. This theory is nonsense. Revelation chapter 4, verse 4 and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. They're crowned because they've been through the judgment seat of Christ. Okay, then it talks about some other things here. Um, verse 10, Revelation 4, verse 10. The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Now, is there any indigna indignation? Yeah, indication. Is there any indication here as to the identity of these twenty-four elders? No. All you can do is guess and say, okay, twelve disciples, twelve patriarchs. It works out, okay? Because uh, twelve plus twelve is twenty-four, right? But it doesn't work. Here's why. Go over to chapter 5, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to, worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Here's the key. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Millennial reign promised to Christians. Okay? But that's not the big one. Hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. What was the kindred people, tongue, nation of these men, they were Jews, right? The disciples were all Jewish. Obviously, the heads of the 12 families there, you know, and, and things, the 12 tribes of Israel, they were also Jews. They could not fulfill verse 9. They were not from every... Uh, Kindred, tongue, people, nation. I always want to get the order correct in that. So who, it, who are the 24 elders? What did we just read? They are redeemed out of every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. How many different kindreds, tongues, peoples, and nation, how many do, does the Lord recognize? Here is the true interpretation of that. Two from each of the 12 boundaries. Okay? And I'll put here Deut Deuteronomy, short for Deuteronomy 32. Turn back to Deuteronomy 32. Back to the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 32. 
<clears throat> verses 7 through 9. 7 through 9. Okay. Let me make that look a little better. Deuteronomy 32, verses 7 through 9. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. God separated the nations into 12 boundaries. What's 12 times 2? 12 times 2 is 24. Right there. 24, 24 elders. You say, well, Brother Brian, that's Old Testament, though. It's Old Testament. God's gotten rid of that because all nations are of one blood, right? Go to Acts chapter 17. I love asking these people, you know, they go, all nations are of one blood. God doesn't see differences in the, in the different ethnicities and things like this. I know race is not a Bible word, so I'm not going to use that. But, you know, nations, kindreds, tongues, peoples, you know, uh, there's, there's no difference now. We're all of one blood. And I like to say to them, uh, really? Where does the Bible say that? Get them to Acts chapter 17, verse 26, and show them the fact that they are repeating things without actually looking at the Scriptures. They all only repeat the first half of the verse. I've seen this thing time and time again. And I mean, they'll, they'll, it'll be written into sermon notes and studies and whatever else. There's a weird spirit there that people don't want to quote the whole verse. Why? Because it ties right back to Deuteronomy 32, verses 7 through 9. Let's look at it. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation. Okay? You see? So is there any question about uh, who the 24 elders are? Not if you can read plain English. I mean, if you can read plain English, it's two from each of the 12 boundaries. How do you know? We'll do it one more time. Revelation 5, verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Every one of them. And there's 24. 24 elders. So that means that there has to be, you know, two from each of the 12 boundaries. Works out perfectly. And uh, how many sons did Noah have? You had uh, one, two, three. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. You know what uh, three is? Times four, twelve. So if you have four nations here that God recognizes, and four nations here, and four nations here, you get twelve. 12 boundaries set by God way back there in the Old Testament, still binding today. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. I'll write that down for people. Acts 17, 26. Still in effect today. Something that did not change from Old Testament, Old Testament to New Testament. 12 boundaries. So, you read the scriptures, Revelation 5, 9 is clearly telling you who the 24 elders are. Now, what's their identity? How do they be, get to become 24, you know, one of the elders or something? I have no idea. But it's very, very clear that God picks two people from each of the 12 boundaries to make up the 24 elders. Crystal clear. Okay? Again, 
you know, th these points. Well, I agree to disagree. Well, how can you? I don't understand. I don't understand it. It can't be up here. They're all Jews. Okay? It has to be this down here. Oh, but, you know, I, I've never seen this in any commentaries. You know, I get that thing too. Um, okay, does it line up with Scripture? Then I don't care about your commentaries. I don't care about your church councils or your church fathers or whatever else. If it lines up with the Scriptures, then you let your beliefs be defined by Scripture, by this book right here. You see? Unless you're not a Bible-believing Christian, well, then let your beliefs be defined by whatever you feel like having them defined by. You know, I mean, flip a coin or, or you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> Do whatever you feel is right if you're not a Bible-believing Christian. Church councils or your pastor or college education or whatever you feel like doing. But if you're a Bible-believing Christian, this is the truth. This up here is not the truth. Simple. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.